morning everyone i welcome all of you in today's lesson in today's lesson we learn about trend bar verb and separable verbs in german language how we use them and how they are different from other verbs let's see trend bar verb and many german verbs take a range of prefix what is prefix prefix is a small word that can be added to another word normally a verb to give it a new meaning when we add a prefix just before the verb it will give us a new meaning the most common prefix are ab an auf aus ein mit nach vor zu zurück bei normally these are the prefix that add before just before the verb and give us a new meaning let's see how it work this is prefix plus verb it give us a new word or new meaning of the sentence let's see some of the common prefix and the how it changes to verb like we have a verb common to come we are different prefix like uncommon when we are uncommon it give us a to arrive meaning mid common to come along common whiter yeah whiter common to get on hair in common to come in hair out to come out knock common to come later zur common to come back so different prefix with the verb have a different meaning let's see in verb the prefix sometimes separate from the stem in conjugation while conjugation we change the prefix while making a sentence let's see with the example uncommon now while making a sentence ish comma we take from this um fünf uhr an this part will always go at the end of the sentence and this part will conjugate as per the subject and will will take a second position let's see there are certain prefix that are not separable they include p emp E N T E R G A, fair, sir. Example: Z fair kauft iron alten computer. Here we do not separate this at the end. We just conjugate with the verb only. Verb separate only when they are how when the verb separate only when they are the only verb in the sentence. When there is the only verb that is stand by verb, we separate it. If the sentence has comma. if often count as two sub sub sentences or sub clauses so when there is only one verb we only change that like check with the example ish stehe um 6 uhr auf there is only one verb that is aufstehen we put stehe here conjugate with this and the auf at the end the verb is this is stand by verb auf stehen to stehe conjugate with the subject auf come at the end of the sentence when there is a two verb like müsste ich müsste um 6 uhr aufstehen there is no change it goes at the end now next in the ich bin um 6 uhr aufgestanden here that will read in present participle and how we use them important separable verb these are the verb that is normally used we should learn that like abfahren to depart abholen to pick up aufhören to stop anrufen to phone aufstehen to get up einkaufen to go shopping einladen to invite start finden to take place fernsehen to watch tv this is the verb and this is the prefix we have anfangen to start uncommon to arrive ausgehen to go out anhören to listen ansehen to put on normally clause aufmachen to open there are many more these are the more most important verbs separable that we have now we see some more example how we make a sentence with that this verb is aufstehen that become stehen plus auf ich stehe um 6 uhr auf we conjugate this with the subject and this part will go at the end 
unroofen the meaning is to call or to phone this will take a second position with the verb and this is close at the end arjun roof john un like in the zehan fan verb is fan zehan we lange this is a take the position which is conjugate with this seats and fan at the end same with zuruk faran second position conjugate with the subject and this come at the end unfangen to start with the subject this is at the end thank you very much for watching this video if you have any concern any doubt just write your comment below have a nice day you can also subscribe to our youtube channel that is sws school